I've posted quite a few videos using the Geo Ripper, and the number one comment I get is, how is that thing on your back? Well, the answer to that question is, don't use it wrong. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we walk the Geo Ripper to make the trench. And in this, with this method, you're not really using your back very much. But Geo Ripper also sells a trenching attachment that is a cart for this thing, so that all you have to do is put it in the cart and pull it backwards, very simple. And it still gets into those tight areas. But this method right here, you can do without the cart, and it's not a lot of work on your back. Watch here. As you can see here, Devon is walking the machine back, also rocking it back and forth. And the reason why he's rocking it back and forth is so that we can fit a larger than one inch pipe into that trench. He's also walking it on the ground there, which means that none of the weight is actually on his back. It's all sitting on the ground and he's just manipulating the machine into the ground so that it'll cut the trench that we need. Obviously, the trenching attachment or the cart that this thing sits in would make our job a lot easier, but it won't fit in every situation, which is where this comes in. Well, we got the whole darn thing trenched out in about two hours, maybe three. And we didn't really use that very much. We used it up front for a couple of these trenches like this one right here and a couple of them over here. But for the most part, we've been using the Geo Ripper for the entire job. And when we get ready to put our last trench in, which is gonna be from this point to the backyard, we're also gonna use the Geo Ripper for that 50 foot section that's gonna go from this point to the backyard there. Freaking lifesaver.